This week on episode number nine, we talk about my unique ability, masterminds, and structuring creative deals. Welcome to Isle of Real Estate Stories from the Trenches, episode number nine. This is a show where we give you the behind the scenes look at the life of a real estate entrepreneur, showing you what's possible, and hopefully teaching you along the way. I've come and gone to the mastermind meeting, and it was off the hook. It always is. I go four times a year. It's kind of like my board of directors. Uh, it's a national mastermind full of people who are just some of the best, most elite real estate investors around the country. So it always blows my mind. Every time I go there, I come back just like with focus and with direction. Let me tell you a little bit about some of the funny experiences that came from that mastermind meeting this week. Uh, first of all, traveling is always a trip. I mean, I'm sure you guys can relate. I don't know about you guys, but I hate that experience of going to the airport and you're just hungry. You know it's ridiculous to pay $8.99 for this dry turkey sandwich, but you're hungry, so you do it. So I got into Tampa that night at like 11 o'clock at night, crashed, woke up early the next morning, and we started going on the stuff. Um, but it's amazing. Um, I've been in this mastermind for a year or so now. And one of the funniest experiences I had was, so you guys know that this is the elite real estate investors from across the country. I'm talking, people do a lot of volume in there. One of my buddies in there flipped uh, about 250 houses last year. That's almost a house a day. Buy it, fix it, and then sell it on the retail market. That is a lot of houses, right? So he's in the group. You got people that you know control millions of dollars um, for lending. You got people who are have coaching packages where they, they coach people for over $100,000 a year. I mean, there's some, some seriously legit, powerful players in there, right? So I'm the elevator coming down the first morning. A buddy of mine uh, named Mike, he and I are in the elevator, and we're going down. And uh, it stops, and the solar couple comes in and sits around. They're kind of like looking around the elevator. Who's here? They're looking at the two of us, and we're like, hey, how you doing? They're like, good. You know, trying to make small talk. The doors are closing as we're going down. They said, what are you guys here for? And Mike's a younger guy, too. He's in his, you know, mid-30s. Uh, we're here for, you know, we're here for a, a seminar is kind of what he said. Was it? So he, Mike's, Mike's name badge was flipped over so you couldn't see it. So he, the guy grabs his name badge, flips it over, and sees it. And it says his name, and then underneath it, it says uh, the Collective Genius, which is the name of the mastermind. And he read this old guy reads this collective genius and he just uh, <laughs> he started laughing. He started like laughing like almost hysterically. <laughs> he obviously thought it was just a couple of uh, young idiots, I guess, in there. You know, when you're talking about genius, that's that's a term that you don't really throw around lightly, right? Yeah. Anyway, that's the name of the mastermind. Another thing that was interesting this time, uh, the mastermind, Pete Fortunato. For those of you who don't know who Pete Fortunato is, uh, he's an older guy, one of those legends of real estate. He's kind of a guru, but he's not really a guru. He doesn't sell courses or anything, but he has seminars, and it blows people's minds because he's a real deal structure guy. So he'll go in and work with sellers, but he starts with, you know, why would you want to sell a beautiful house like this? What are you going to do with the money? Asks all those searching questions, figures out what the sellers need, and he, he literally constructs a deal. And his stuff, I mean, you can imagine this room full of people, uh, and that's my mastermind. They're like high-level real estate guys, right? Volume, do very well. And he was in there saying this stuff, and a lot of those guys, it was just going, Pfft. I mean, it was just blowing over their heads. And I've heard Pete before, so it wasn't exactly blowing my mind like that, but I still was like, I got so many good ideas from him. So talking about um, structuring terms deals, because when you talk about real estate investing, there's price and there's terms. So everybody's thinking you got to go and, and buy that house at this extreme discount. And that's not always true. A lot of the times, people don't want to sell at that extreme discount. But you can work something out if you know how to structure terms like Pete does. Find out what the sellers need and what they're going to do with the money and structure a true win-win deal uh, that works for them and that also is a, a deal that a lot of times is even better than a cash deal if you can work out a terms deal. So I'm actually planning on doing a little I'm doing a little seminar on that, a little training on that for just my internal purposes. I might uh, share it with House Flipping Formula too, but uh, on terms deals because it's just it's, it's the way the market's going right now. Right now we have historic low interest rates. Um, and inflation, I'm sorry guys, it's cooked in the books with the way this, this, uh, this money, ex the expansion of money supply, this inflation's cooked in the books, right? I mean, these the properties are gonna go up in price because just the expansion of the money supply. So that's coming. So those that know how to structure and obtain long-term debt, it's an asset. So if you can go in there and lock up long-term debt with a seller um, or with a bank, but you know, primarily when you're talking about terms deals with a seller, that is an asset of itself, right? If you lock up, does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So that's the next wave, in my opinion, of where this market's going, of people that know how to structure seller finance deals and terms deals. These are the type of things you need to understand this stuff. And, and more so than understanding that, you need to understand 
how to work with sellers and give them what they need and know what you can do for them. So that, that works for, that'll work for you, that'll also work for them. So that's big stuff. Um, actually, what was that question we had this week? You had somebody that asked you a question last night. Yeah, last night Jordan Atkin was asking Jordan A. Jordan A. <laughs> no, we <laughs> he was, he was asking a question about the book that we had talked about before that was really intriguing to me. I couldn't remember the name of the book, but I remember that you were talking about unique abilities mm -hmm. and dialing in the things that you're good at, particularly, you know, and, and kind of how to determine what that is and mm. that sort of stuff. So he was really curious about the name of the book and I didn't know. So I told him I would ask you. Okay. This is good for all you guys out there. There's so many things that you can do in your life, but, uh, to answer Jordan's question, focusing on your unique ability, unique ability is something that when you do it, you're passionate about it. It energizes you. It doesn't suck energy from you. It just makes you like come alive. Like for me, it's talking about real estate. It makes me come alive. You're talking about terms deals or talking about, you know, in front of a crowd, just about real estate in general. It makes me come alive. And for me, by the way, it's video stuff. And him, and like it makes stuff. me come alive. It makes me completely lose track of time. Like that's it. It's bad, but, but good. Obviously that's, you know, it's something I totally get in the, I like the term vortex. Get in the vortex. You know? Wherever it is in your life that you get in the vortex, you lose track of time and it's, you just love doing something. I would say that that's probably along the lines of your unique ability. And an answer to your question, what that book is that you should read is called unique ability of all things, of all things. It's called <laughs> unique ability. It's talking about, you know, discover your unique ability. So I'll let you read the book. If you want to discover what yours is, but just a little clue. One of the things that has you doing an exercise is email or talk to 10 people who know you best, people who really know you and ask them what it is that they think that your unique ability is. What are you good at? What are you better at than 90% of the people out there? Just as important as what your unique ability is, finding out what your unique ability is not. Mm. Because those things that suck passion from you, if you can determine what those things are and outsource those tasks to somebody that that's their unique ability, then you'll win more. Focus on your unique ability and do the things you're really good at and you're passionate about. You'll be energized and you'll do them well. And the things that aren't your unique ability, find other people that that is their unique ability, leverage that with them, and you'll both be a whole heck of a lot better. So I've built my team on doing that. I know what my weaknesses are. I have people who that's their strength. And they shore up my weakness. And my strength shores up their weakness, right? And then you do that and that's the synergy where one plus one equals three. Okay, so I hope you guys go learn what your unique ability is, find your passion, it'll make you good at things. Uh, if you're not a part of a mastermind or if you don't have a coach or if you don't have somebody that's taking you to that next level, showing you what's possible, I want to encourage you, whatever field you're in, it might not be in real estate, to go do that because it's really going to help your life, it's going to help your career and whatever it is that you do. So uh, that's what we were talking about for this week. And if you have any questions, andyalabrealestatestories.com and we'll get to your questions. Bye-bye.